Hello, can you, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so far, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, my name is Marion Cohen. Um, I um, was lucky and plucky enough to have actually two books published within the recent week. Oh, this, uh, thank you. <laughs> and you know, you know plucky. <laughs> you might not know lucky, but <laughs> you know plucky. Um, so one of the books, is called, well, the title is The Discontinuity at the Waistline, and what, and the subtitle, perhaps more important, is My Me Too Poems. And for me, Me Too, I was never raped or assaulted, or not in the, phys, you know, in the physical way, but um, uh, I'm thinking of subtle stuff that goes on, subtle societal stuff, um, and it particularly, in the words of Larry Robin, unwanted, at least that's the first time I've heard this phrase, uh, unwanted sexual activity. And we live in a society full of unwanted sexual activity, both to us and maybe by us also. Um, so the, the, the one poem that I'm choosing to read from this book, it starts in my pretty much early childhood. Um, it's called In Their Progressive Household. Number two, you know, this is a number one if you also. Yeah, I grew up in a progressive household. They were Marxists, they were atheists, they were intellectuals. Um, and they were, well, you'll see, progressive in a way didn't like. Okay. It was a short hallway, as short as a birth canal. My father stood at the living room end with a towel around his middle. And he began to slowly lose the towel, not in a sexy way or not that I, at that pre-sex age, would have noticed. He pulled the towel horizontally, perpendicular to the standing. And when he was finished, what was revealed was a mere bathing suit. But I didn't like looking at his middle, so I basically didn't. And my mother, she with me, was at the kitchen end of that too short hallway. She was wearing her usual house dress. She never sported her middle, never walked around in a bathing suit. Oh, my sister and I knew she had a middle. She had a body, not only head, hands, and feet, but we never saw it, not even under a towel. I meant to mention that my father had a kind of weird sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Just part of it was supposed to be humorous. Quick uh, companion poem to this is called Statement. I wanted to be introduced to sex by someone I would love forever. In particular, I didn't want to see any other man's naked middle. That's why I looked at my father's with mere peripheral vision. That's why I stayed in the boundaries of those scenes. That's why, in their progressive household, I wasn't very progressive. That wasn't the kind of progress I wanted to make. And the other book, believe it or not, it was like three weeks from submission to this <laughs> actual book. <laughs> this publisher works at it all day, you know, he's like the dream publisher. Um, and it's, believe it or not, the poems were written about 30 years ago, it was over a period of about seven years, when my youngest son uh, was from newborn to about seven. Um, and it's about being uh, well, it's, part, it's about being a woman in the way that I was then. I was postpartum. I had given birth. I breastfeeding everything. I had a kind of a fetish about it. Um, I still do, maybe. Huh? I am 34 years postpartum now. <laughs> anyway, uh, and I guess I want to say also that uh, about 45 years ago, when I first. Uh, um, identified as a writer and became involved in the Philadelphia poetry scene and the world's poetry scene. Um, I wrote a lot about motherhood. Now, I was kind of known for that. Uh, at the time, I only had two children, but I'm still <laughs> really into it. Um, and I think it's, for some people, I was notorious. It got back to me that somebody said, Paul well, Marion Cohen writes about his dead babies. I did indeed have a dead baby, as well as four live ones. Um, and I have also written about math. I'm a, I'm a kind of person who's passionate about math. I'm a math person. I've been a math professor, hence the math, and so on. Um, and I've written about thrift shopping, 
I tend to have special topics that most of my books are on particular topics, not only motherhood, you know, and so on. Uh, but this last book is about, as I've, as I've said, about motherhood. And so I picked, had, had to pick one poem. Here's a poem. It's called The Fury of Infancy. Uh, it's the way I, I think of a newborn, or it's one way. The Fury of Infancy. Finding himself here, he might as well stare at two-inch outlines of one-inch shapes, or try not to stare at all. Finding himself here, he might as well turn his floating head towards anything red, anything white, anything bright, anything here or there. Finding himself here, he might as well dangle his feet into squares, circles, spirals, reach out his arms for voices, helpless. Finding himself hearing, he might as well listen. Finding himself seeing, he might as well look. Finding himself here, he might as well stay here. Finding himself here, he might as well 